Okay, now this is the second part. This is taking that little burr. We used the diamond point earlier to to create our little chamfer, our little recess. This is going, now we're going to use an abrasive like this cross buff to take that little burr off, to take the little edge. So very simple, fairly self-explanatory. We just take it and run it right through there and keep working that little edge till we smooth that out nicely. Because remember, the ideal is that for the transition of the piston ring in and out of this port window with the least amount of resistance possible. So you just take and you slowly work and smooth that out. Like I said, works a lot better if you have a right angle. Now I don't spend, one thing I will mention is I don't spend a whole lot of time, I, I share from them, but I don't put a whole lot of concentration on the ones on the edge of the port windows that goes longitudinal because the piston ring's not transferring against them, whereas these right here, it's meeting it at a direct angle. So yeah, you want to spend a little bit more time on those. You want to get these smooth, but they're not as porny as the ones that um, meet the piston ring as it moves up and down directly. Now, I do like to radius. You'll notice these windows are nice, have a nice rounded edge to them uh, as far as in, in, in this port window dimension. Uh, that helps, that helps to transfer in and out. And you'll notice that all these ports are radius nicely at the edges. They're nice and rounded. Same, same concept. And uh, one, it gets better airflow too. It helps, it helps that piston ring in and out of uh, the port window. So, you know, everything you're doing is trying to make that work smoother, more efficient, better airflow, better transfer of the uh, piston rings in and out, you know, it's, uh, it's all going to add up in the end for better performance.